So hello, it's a cold November afternoon and I thought I might show you our dormant wildflower meadow. Um, this was made by Fabrizio and has been his life's work for the last 14 years. But when we first came here 14 years ago, the grass was all thick ryegrass for feeding cattle. And after many years of work, I challenge you to see the grass through the wildflower varieties. So what can I show you? Look, this one, my finger, that is a scabious, but with the wooji edges. But here, um, with, oh, yeah, interesting. Let me show you some other things. Um, these round ones, they are wild sorrel, which I use in lots of my bouquets in the spring. Um, and then here's another scabious. I'm not this one. I'm not keeping to the path, so I'll be in trouble. Um, there are lots of different varieties, about 30 different varieties of wildflowers in this meadow, including several different kinds of orchid, none of which were here when we first came here. You can see the path, we're allowed to walk on the path, but we're not allowed to walk on the meadow. And all these little babies will sit quiet all winter and come the early spring, Fabrizio will come out and cage the very precious orchid babies so that the rabbits don't eat them. And then we will enjoy the flowers through the spring. We've got buttercups, that's those buttercups, and we've got um, meadow crane's bill, which is that one. It's like a hardy geranium, but wild. Uh, what else can I show you? I think you'll find this is an orchid of some preciousness. And the orchids often grown out, grow out of cr the crowns of scabious. Um, there's a little scabious person in the middle there. So you see how this whole space has become wildflower meadows and I'll show you again in June. Of course if you'd like to know more about creating perennial wildflower meadows do come on a workshop which we hold in June because then you can see this in all its glory. Have a good day everyone, bye!